specially written COBOL or PL1 programs can be deployed as stored procedure on a DB2 server instance to be used transparently as any other function made available by SQL. The Raincode compilers provide you with the ability to port such stored procedures and deploy them under SQL Server so that they can be used exactly as they were under DB2. Consider, for instance, the sample COBOL program. By compiling this program with the adequate additional command line option, we'll make it available as a stored procedure in SQL Server. First, the stored procedure name compiler option defines the name under which it will be published as a stored procedure. We must also provide additional information about the parameters that cannot be deduced from the COBOL source code alone. For instance, COBOL does not make a difference between input-output or return value parameters. This information must be supplied separately. The stored procedure params mode compiler option allows you to specify passing modes of the parameters and result. In this case, we'll want the two first parameters to be passed as input parameters, the third one being used as the result value of the stored procedure. Due to the differences in execution models, COBOL or PL1 programs cannot be called directly from SQL Server. The Raincode compiler generates a wrapper that takes care of passing the parameters and results and of launching the execution of the legacy program. For the given example, the wrapper is... Finally, this wrapper can be made available to SQL Server by running a generated SQL definition such as... Stage, you can try this new function by running a query such as the full power and versatility of the legacy world can be brought to SQL Server. XX SQL statements within stored procedures as defined here are executed in the context of the current SQL Server transaction and can be executed statically or dynamically depending on the compiler option generate static SQL. By default, calls to compiler generated stored procedures will be executed for legacy program SQL statements. By setting generate static SQL to false, dynamic SQL statements will be executed instead. But in addition to simple data items, stored procedures also have the ability to return a result set made of multiple rows to the calling SQL Server application. Consider the following code fragment written in the DB2 dialect of SQL. Within a stored procedure definition, a cursor declared using the DB2 with return clause that is still open at the end of the stored procedure execution defines the result set for that stored procedure. Compiling the example above with a command line such as we indicate that it returns a result set and can thus be used as In summary, legacy programs that were defined as DB2 stored procedures in COBOL or PL1 can be made available as user-defined functions or stored procedures in a SQL Server instance, exactly as they were in DB2. The Raincode compiler generates the SQL definition when provided with the SQL name and the parameter passing modes. The Raincode compiler also generates a wrapper taking care of the mapping between the legacy program parameters and the SQL arguments. The port from DB2 to SQL Server is completed by the compile time DB2 to SQL Server rewriting facility, described extensively in a separate video. SQL statements within legacy programs are executed in the context of the current SQL Server transaction and can be executed statically or dynamically. When used as stored procedures, legacy programs have the ability to return a result set.